Uh, Dr. Apollo, we find you here at the celebration of the 50th uh, anniversary of the Ugandan in independence. Well, what are your feelings? Great to see that Ugandans have come together to remember the 50 years of independence, but also to remember the challenges they have gone through to be where they are and the kind of support they have received to be at this level. 50 years of independence, that's a great deal, that's half a, a century. Is this one a bit special? Quite special because half a centenary is no joke. And particularly when many of these people have actually traveled from Uganda and they come to Australia in different forms. Some of them as refugees, others as family reunion, others as skilled migrants, and for different reasons. But the fact that they left Uganda, there were real reasons. Probably independence was not delivering and therefore they moved on. But when they were here and they look back, they see the importance of appreciating of that nationhood and what gave them to be where they are. As I mentioned in my address, the level and the extent of education provided to them that they use as a tram card wherever they go. And you are one of the, um, the people, if not the men behind putting all this um, together. How is the association, uh, the Ugandan association going? The Ugandan association, the new one is emerging. The one before was a more national because we tried to work at the Eastern Central African communities, but eventually looked at the importance of national identity and they start to talk about specific issues of Ugandans, of Kenyans, of Tanzanians and the rest. But we still recognize that we are Africans or East Africans, so there are a common factors and there are differences. Here we are emphasizing differences that are going to gear up us to link ourselves to Uganda, but at the same time to make our new home a comfortable place to live in with all of the energies and skills and the capabilities that we have actually acquired. And do you feel like uh, you, Ugandans overall are doing quite well uh, in Australia? In relative terms, yes. When you look at the levels of unemployment, Ugandans are relatively okay, higher. They are higher. There are less numbers in an unemployment figures of Ugandans compared to other Africans. But I'm not saying they are, they are not Ugandan unemployed. There are many in unemployment doing things like uh, child care, nursing homes, when they were having other qualifications. But on the whole, they tend to be employed. What message have you got for the, your Ugandan fellows uh, for today? Dear Ugandans, we can only say the sky is the limit. We've come far, we can achieve a lot. United we stand, divided we fall. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to see that Uganda can celebrate 50 years of independence. It means a lot to us. Uganda has gone through different phases within the last 50 years. We have had several leaders changing. We have learned our mistakes. We have reached 50 years. That's what we have seen. We want to see what other 50 years will do for us. This means we have to use that historic achievement for the future development of our country. The mistakes have been learned. We hope this is the opportunity for us to re-examine what happened 50 years ago and move forward. Thank you. What's the, uh, what you're feeling about how Ugandans are faring within Australia? Well, that's a very difficult question. One, the Ugandans who have come in Australia have come with different expectations. But I hope they can learn from what other Ugandans they left home are doing. Uganda is not remaining static. Ugandans are moving. I only want to encourage those who have made it to Australia to work extra hard and remit money home. Because if you don't do it now, time is running out. Uganda is not static. Uganda is moving. I urge you, you to work hard 
and send money back home so that when you retire, you have a happier environment setting. How's the uh, relationship between Uganda and Australia going? Is there like more uh, investment or, or uh, what, tell us a bit how th this relationship is going? Um, Australia has done commendably well with Uganda. Australia has an engagement program with Africa, Uganda included. At the moment, Uganda has 44 scholarships. Uganda has got several projects in housing, in mining, and education in Uganda. Those make me very proud. By the way, the first company that did exploration for oil that we are proud of in Uganda was by Australian company, Hardman Brothers. So I think it's fantastic. The relationship is fantastic. We are getting good representation from Australia. Our Ugandan ministers have been visiting in big numbers. As far as last week, we had five ministers and 25 members of parliament visiting Australia, including our Chief Justice. He also visited. And a big delegation from Australia have also visited Uganda. So that relationship should be intensified and quite frankly, encouraged. Okay, it looks like um, Uganda, and, uh, Uganda and, and Australia are on a very good course. Yes. Ugandans are doing well, yes. so everything seems to be perfect. I think so, I think so. But of course, I'm like Tom Sawyer, I'm asking for more. <laughs> more. And no one will blame you for that, because yes. you want more for not only uh, Ugandans in Australia, but Ugandans overall in yes. and Australia can contribute yes. to that. Exactly. We are still running Sasuke of education. Australian system is very good. We want you to benefit from that education system. Maybe one last question. Have you heard of uh, us as Africa Media Australia and what can you say about us? Yes, I think what you are doing is fantastic. I've just read about you. I've just read about your name. I had not seen the person. It's only tonight that I'm meeting the devil, the man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very excited about it. All right. Yes.